Of a more, we're joined by Josef Janning, a senior policy fellow at the European Council on Foreign Relations in Berlin. Good to have you here with us. So, on November the 1st, Turkey will vote in a new or perhaps an old government. Certainly, incumbent President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is trying very hard to woo expats, especially also here in Germany, offering things like those who fly to Turkey will get 20% of their fare reimbursed. Passports will also be cheaper. What's your take on that? Uh, is that economically sound? No, it's not economically sound. It's uh, it's driven by party instincts. You know, the uh, Turkish expat community is conservative and they tend to support Erdogan because they look at things from the outside and not from the inside. And, uh, and he's very much after this vote. Now, Turkey and Germany, there's a very long relationship, of course, also economically. How important is Turkey for Germany nowadays? Well, for an export economy like the German one, Turkey is a very interesting case because it's an emerging economy on the doorstep of Europe and not far away in, in Asia. Uh, and, and indeed, the Turkish economic development has been impressive. Well, With 8-9% growth over a number of years, uh, it has been a tiger state, uh, which of course is, is always interesting because it's a, it's a large population and it's a potentially interesting market. But this emerging market, like many others, by the way, has cooled down significantly. I mean, you just mentioned growth figures of 9%. Now, that we saw last in 2011. Uh, but by now, this boom slowed significantly in 2015, as we can see very soon. Ankara expects growth of only around 3%. Now, that is still more than Germany, of course, so still impressive. But the signs of the times, they aren't too good. So what exactly is the problem? Well, for Turkey, it's a disaster. Uh, because, you know, with 3% growth, but almost 10% inflation, the lira uh, losing 30% of its value over the course of 2015. But still you have about a third of the uh, young Turks, under 30, uh, unemployed. You know, uh, this country uh, has a severe uh, economic transformation problem. It, it has come to the end of, uh, of an economic boom. It has to shape up its governance. Uh, the level of corruption uh, is, is very high. Uh, but at the same time, it's in a region of crisis. So uh, also part of its markets are uh, destabilizing. It's lacking uh, um, foreign investments, but it needs a lot of foreign investment because of its uh, dependency on imports of, of um, um, resources and energy. Do, do you think that uh, EU membership talks will make any difference? Not over the short term. No, membership talks, of course have helped Turkey to get where it is today uh, with a much shaped up uh, uh, public uh, infrastructure. Uh, but uh, over the past five years or so, um, the government and the president uh, has been uh, uh, slowing down in their reform passion uh, and they would have to renew this. So not an easy road ahead. Josef Janning, thank you very much for being here You're with welcome. us today.